Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Hey guys, welcome. Today we're looking at the IME Lab doorbell. This is a fully wireless doorbell. Apparently six months standby, long battery operation, 150 degree ultra wide viewing angle, free local storage, precise alarms, and two way HD video calls as well. So this is the box. We have a manual, warranty. These are handy when installing on sort of walls. Even says in there, the card is only for wall mounting with expansion bolts. Uh, gives you a good idea on where to position the doorbell for holes and drilling. This is the doorbell hub. I've got sort of like antennas on there, look. Speaker, micro SD card slot there. And an adapter needs to be plugged into the back of that as well. We get the doorbell itself. Quite big actually to be fair, that's the palm of my hand. I do have big hands. That's the doorbell. Oh, I was stuck to it. On the back, we have a rubber seal there to expose the micro USB port for charging the device. And we have a sync button there as well, which you're using the setup process. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard design, camera there, doorbell button, sensors and everything at the front as well. And speakers at the bottom that is that that's the plug adapter which we'll hit on that and twist so there you go i also need an additional adapter because i'm in the uk this is the mounting plate so that will sit in there and you can mount that to whatever surface you want now they've also added this which i thought was pretty cool it's a 15 degree corner. So when you mount this flat, obviously depending which side of the door you're gonna have it, I'm gonna have it on the left hand side. So this will be perfect. So it'll angle slightly towards the person using the doorbell. Maybe, you know, to get a sort of better and clearer view at that angle. But if you want, you can still have the option just to mount it directly on there without the additional 15 degree angle wedge. In there you get some raw plugs and screws as well to help mount the device. In there as well, there's also, I call it a SIM tray uh, remover tool, SIM tray tool. But that is used to remove the doorbell from the back case for when you need to charge it. And that's a micro USB cable for charging the doorbell. There we go, the contents all here. That's what you get in the box. Now the setup process, Really easy, download the IME Lab app. You need to set up an account first as well, so make sure you register. Add a device, do click add a device. You should find the IME Lab doorbell in there. It will then ask you to install uh, the doorbell hub. You need to plug that in, turn it on and wait for the flashing blue light. Once you have the flashing blue light done, you can continue. You then need to press the sync button on the back of the doorbell. Also, obviously you need to connect it to the Wi-Fi network, your Wi-Fi network at home. This is only compatible with 2.4 gigahertz networks. And first time ever, it connected first time. All these other sort of security devices and sort of smart devices at home that do connect to the network are always 2.4 and they always have issues it takes a few times for it to connect this connected straight away and that is it it went straight into the application really really easy next process let's install this on my front door
So the installation and setup of the Imilab Smart doorbell is really easy. Installation was so quick. The setup obviously in the app as well was really easy. It connected first time to the Wi-Fi network. If I bring your attention to there, you can see the Imilab um, Smart Video doorbell, the fastest and safest Kickstarter project. So it's not officially uh, on official sale just yet, but you can back the project. If you do want to pledge, then click back this project and you get a few options. So at the minute, $89 for, for this doorbell, which probably about 70 quid in the UK. Uh, and you get the iMeLab doorbell, you get a 32 gigabyte SD card as well for free. Not, you get 90 days uh, free trial cloud storage. Um, and you can add up to more video doorbells as well. iMeLab will also cover all the taxes, free global shipping. Um, that's a great deal at the moment. So obviously when it's fully released, it's going to be over $100. So uh, I think a doorbell for this price, for that, is very, very good. Uh, but that brings me now on to the app. So here is the application showed briefly in the setup process. This is your home page. This is the main page. You can add other doorbells and stuff on here if you wish. If you've got more than one door, I don't know who would have more than one doorbell to be fair. Yeah, that's the main interface there. And if you click that, it has all the person events there, which I'm scrolling through there at the moment. And this obviously saves it to the cloud or you can save it to the SD card. I installed a 64 gigabyte SD card in the doorbell hub, which I plugged in into the kitchen. That's where all your uh, the chimes and stuff are gonna come from. Uh, you can download these to your phone, some of the video files as well. If we go into the settings, I'll just scan through some of these very, very quickly. And you can see for yourself, battery percentage. This ain't a proper review because I really want to test the battery and apparently you can get up to six months use onto one charge, which obviously I've only had it like a week, so I can't really give you an honest answer on that. Um, you can change the sounds of the, the doorbell. You only get three options of sounds uh, at the moment, clanking, joyful, or sound. You can also set a different ringtone for the indoor hub one downstairs where you put this which you put the SD card in so you can have a different ringtone on that I've actually changed it as well you can adjust the volume a no disturb mode mode which I have enabled so from 10 o'clock till 8 in the morning uh, the doorbell will not ring and wake anyone up well, that should be up by 8 really uh, yeah lens distortion correction wide dynamic range and night vision settings as well you can have it on to switch on automatically which most people do anyway Home monitoring, 24 hour detection. I have that on all the time. Uh, detection mode, you can record immediately or record after the set time. So that obviously will improve battery consumption a lot. So if someone's near or around your camera for more than maybe a few seconds, then it will start recording. But at the moment I've got it to record immediately. Video clip length, I've got on automatic. So as long as someone's detected, it will keep recording, but you can have it all the way up to 60 seconds if you wish. And re-trigger level. So it, it'll be another 30 seconds before it will re-trigger on more or, or new movement. Uh, detection sensitivity, I've set that to two. That's no problem. You have the activity um, zone detection as well which can be found on quite a few uh, sort of cameras, doorbells and security cameras. SD card video. So this is where it shows you all the, um, the events on the SD card. Um, there's a postman. Oh. Postman popping in the post. Fairly easy. Signal test as well, it will test how strong your uh, network signal is or broadband to your doorbell. Uh, at the minute it's saying no signal on mine at the top, but the blatantly is signal. Not sure why it's doing that. The memory card, it just shows you how much storage is being used. I've, I mean, I've got loads left. I've got 59 gigabytes left, so, so that's plenty. 
general settings, device name, check for updates, blah, 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 and you can delete the device as well, and FAQs. That's the main settings. You can go live, bottom right here, you click live. So this is a live view at the moment, and obviously the more live viewing you're doing on the camera, you're gonna reduce battery a lot. On the left here, you have 2.5K or SD, so you can view in standard definition if you wish. If your internet's great and the camera's quite near your router, you can put it to 2.5K as well. You can mute, you can take a snapshot, and you can just click record so you can record video for a little bit there and if you've spotted something you want to record it that's absolutely fine you can also call and set the alarm off there as well wow turn off there we go <laughs> so if there is someone lurking about just hit <laughs> that siren and it should scare them and then at the bottom here on the main page, if you click messages and click I'm your lab video doorbell, it basically takes you straight back to the events page on there showing you all the different events um, on that day. And you can choose different days as well. You can go back, you can see the two dots there look um, going back that much. And then you can click download and save to the photo album as well. So yeah, the iMeLab doorbell is a very brand new piece of tech for iMeLab and it's still on the Kickstarter project at the moment. I will include links to that in the description below if, you're, if you want to check that out. Um, I think early signs are a very decent doorbell, really easy to set up, really easy to install as you just saw in my video. Um, and the video quality and the audio quality on there it seems to be pretty good at the moment as well. So yeah few more updates maybe to tweak a few things in the app and it'll be absolutely perfect but they've got plenty of time to do that uh, but thank you all very much for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you have smash that like button subscribe and i'll see you very soon thanks for watching bye bye